This is the FL Esports, Flea Sports, I, I don't know, but the MK870. It is a 10 keyless keyboard with several features that make it a rather enticing entry level board. If you're new to the mechanical keyboard world, welcome. This board features RGB lighting, semi-transparent smoked gray plastic, prelude stabilizers, silicone plate dampener, and south-facing LEDs. This board also has additional USB-C ports on the sides that you can use but does not support USB pass-through. South-facing switches are when the LEDs are on the bottom side of the keycap and help with keycap compatibility. Some keycap sets, like Cherry Profile, have shorter keycaps which can hit the side of the switch housing instead of against the top of the housing. I do wish that they made more sets with side printed lenses because they look so good on this keyboard. After recording some initial sounds, I modded the MK870 by opening the case and installing some polyurethane foam. As you'll hear in the sound test, the unmodded case has a hollow sound, and not only does putting foam in the case remove this sound, it also acts as a low pass filter, reducing some of the high pitched sounds. You will hear this leave a nice deep and thocky sound. I did have trouble with one of the screws. The standoff snapped off and was just rotating when I tried to unscrew it, but ultimately I was able to grab the standoff with some pliers and extract the screw. I wasn't very worried with this as there were so many standoffs and snap joints to hold the case together, it felt pretty rigid when I put it back together. Thankfully, they did not put any screws underneath the rubber feet. Once the screws holding the top and bottom half were removed, I loosened the snap joints around the outside of the case by slipping a guitar pick between the plastic. The plate is tray mounted to the bottom half of the case, and after removing several very visible screws, it was ready for the foam mod. I cut the foam to fit between the ridges and put the case back together. Normally, this is when I would lube some new stabilizers and install them, but surprisingly, I didn't have to replace or even re-lube the stabilizers on this keyboard. They feel stable, smooth, and responsive. They are crisp and don't rattle. In one of my previous trips to the local micro center, I picked up some Gateron clears, which are a linear 35 gram switch. I wanted to do a budget build and I was happy to spend only $35 for this set of 120 switches. I lubed them while watching a couple movies on Netflix. The keycaps I chose are some Cherry Profile EPBT Double Shot ABS keycaps. I got them during a buy one get one sale, so they cost me only $35. This is how it sounded before and after the mods. Despite this one standoff breaking, I still suggest buying and building this keyboard. It sounds and feels fantastic. The stabilizers were great right out of the box and it was extremely cheap to build, only around $130. But now you can even find it cheaper. Here's a website called ChoseFox, ChooseFox, and it's on sale for $35 and at that price it's definitely a steal. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you'd like, please throw me a like or subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.